I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Take the role, please. There's no talking about it. Here. 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 Executive committee minutes from February 2nd. Motion. Second. Motion second. Any additions, corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, executive committee uh, executive session minutes from February 2nd, 2017. Second. second. Any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Executive committee minutes of February 9th, 2017. Moved. Second. second. Any additions or corrections? Hearing that, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Executive uh, uh, committee, executive session minutes from February 9th, 2017. Moved. Moved. Second. Second. Any additions or corrections? Hearing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And then we have the Judicial Committee uh, minutes from October 4th, 2016. Right? We never got them approved. Moved. Second. Second. Any additions or corrections? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carries. So we cleaned up, please, for your committee there. Thank <laughs> you. Uh, is there any old business to bring forward today? Yeah, Jim, I guess. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Jim, uh, at last week's executive session, we talked about a uh, committee put together to look at salaries for countywide, and we talked about uh, Mr. Grueling putting them together. Um, even though I'm not in favor of putting this committee together, um, Having John involved, I think, is a little bit of a conflict of interest since we do pay him. So I think that we should kind of look for another avenue to pursue if we're going to pursue that. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't disagree. Then we disagree with that. No. Okay. All right, so so call John and tell me he's off the hook. <laughs> he's not here today, is he? Yeah, I'm saying, okay. Uh, but you know, I, I would say, you know, what we've done kind of in the past, we've had staff go out and do the surveys and show us some comparables and, and so forth. You know, that's one part of it. Uh, but Will County is Will County and we're not necessarily to pay or, you know, or cook for sure, you know. Uh, so, uh, and of course, they take on, you know, you know when you look at like, uh, you know, they're responsible for 5 million people versus we're responsible for 600,000. Or seven hundred thousand, I should say. You know, there's a big difference. But at, at any rate, uh, uh, county board will then, as always, take on its responsibility of looking at salaries. Yes. Can I just add? Uh, I knew Chief of Staff Reagan have uh, emailed Ray. I don't know if he saw that or not. Did you include him, Reagan? Okay, she did include me, even though it didn't entail, entail everything that you requested. Uh, I mentioned Bruce Refell had did a study. And you forward, she found it and forwarded it to me, and I didn't know if you had a chance to see it. I but it's just a little different from what you requested, but he did several pages study into uh, comparison of counties, and I know that wasn't one of the things you requested, but it is a good starting point. And thank you for that right there. Okay. Jim? Yeah, if anybody's, a, anybody's interested in seeing that, they can ask. Now, by the way, you know, we're, we're probably a year away from doing this. I mean, it's not like something we're doing tomorrow. We do have a tendency to do it early. Something we would do a little earlier. Uh, you know, we have a, we've had a tendency to, at least in the last few years, doing it prior to primaries, so people want to get involved, know full well what's involved, the money pays, and that's why I say, who, who run for these offices? They know what it pays. Don't complain about the pay when you get there. You know? I mean, so because uh, uh, we do well in advance. So, yeah, yeah. Jim, that's actually, that was kind of the direction that I was headed in, is that you know, I understand the request for the review. Um, 
you know, my concern with this review is that exactly what you just said. Everybody knows what the position pays before they decide to run for the position. My also, my concern is, you know, what the potential findings might be of that review. Because quite honestly, my thought is that I don't believe that this board is going to lower the salaries of those that we might find in, um, in other counties to comparable positions. Um, and I guess if the board doesn't have an appetite to lower salaries, should we determine that other elected officials are not receiving the same level of compensation that we are, then I would question the review in general. I'm one who is willing to lower them, uh, but, but I know what you're saying. I mean, uh, 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 but generally there's not an appetite. Uh, I've made it clear that I think a lot of county executives and put a way used to be and have a relationship and whatever, two times or three times the county board salary. You know, because if, if, if that position replaced the county board chairman and prior to the executive form of government, we only paid the chairman, the chairman an additional, well, he got one and a half times what the county board member received. Why would we then have it five times what the county board member makes not? You know, and while they're hiring a staff, a, additional staff to actually do the administration. So you just, you know, my, so now my view is just become a political position and doesn't really entail a whole heck of a lot you know, politics. And the uh, opposite side of that is, is very true as well, which this board has continually stated is that you know the pay before you decide to run for the position. So I'm concerned a bit about how we move forward with the review based on those two criteria that I'll implement. Thank you, Darren. Yeah, just to restate, I have no issue with lowering the pay of the study chosen. For 12 years, we've had the same identical pay. What did that mean? What did that tell us? Were we paying, overpaying back then? Are we overpaying now? Are we underpaying now? All I wanted was something that was factual. Yeah. I don't want politicians making knee-jerk reactions to raise salaries or do whatever they're going to do based on just for political gain or because we have an election coming up. I do not pay the individuals at my company the same amount, whether they have various varying amounts of the level of difficulty at their job. And that's all I wanted to take a look at is, look, we can look at that report and do absolutely nothing with it. We could do absolutely something with it. We could lower, we could raise. This was not about giving any individual a raise or lowering. It's about having factual information that is before us, put together by an independent group. My only worry about what Mike just said, you know, going out or, or Mr. Musa said, we're gonna go out, we can have staff put together. I don't want staff to put it together. I don't want people to come and say, this is what they're paying DuPage and this is what they're paying in Kendall, so we should make this. That has nothing to do with it. The only thing I would look at from, from that report would be, are all of their elected officials getting paid the exact same thing for different varying levels of duties? But I would rather have, like I said, stated from the beginning, an independent group outside of government to say, look, I mean, I'm personally very, very happy with the salary that I receive. I think that there's times when so some people actually make too much on the board for the amount of hours they put in. What is the position that, that of the county wides? What, how many hours are they supposed to be there? Is it a part-time job? If it is, then I'm telling you what, $95,000 a year for part-time jobs is too much. And I'm willing to look at it. But if you're putting in 200 hours a month, 300 hours a month, then maybe 95 is too low. I just want some factual data that we could go back and make an educated decision versus a knee-jerk, well, oh, I got a primary, I don't have a primary, let's make a decision. That was all I was getting at in the last, in well, the last executive session. Let, let me say that, you know, it, it's, uh, it's the responsibility of a uh, county board to set salaries. It's yeah. not the responsibility of someone else. It doesn't mean you can't get recommendations on what you're thinking you're compelled. Actually, I think that uh, uh, arguments I've made 
and I've made arguments that we do not give salary increases. It's always been based on what I think the actual compensation is, and what. And I also take into consideration what 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 the community at largest household incomes are, individual income. You know, if if, if you're if you're looking at uh, uh, you know, the average household income and elected <coughs> officials are, countywide elected officials are getting paid twice of what the average is. Well, then I'd say within that community, it's a pretty good compensation. But let me also say, since I've done this 46 times, just so you know, I actually think it may maybe 48 times. It'll be 48 times this year. So I've gone through this. Uh, like I say, 46 times. And the countywide, I like to how the hand gets kind of played. The countywide officials used to make continuing arguments a number of years ago why they should all be paid the same. And they all got up there and made their pitches and they all agreed, with maybe the exception of the sheriff's sheriff. You know, so now they all get paid the same. Then they come back and go, well, we all shouldn't be paid the same. So we'll boost this guy, and then we'll come back and say we all should be paid the same. Again. You know, I mean, it's the hands. It's how they play that hand. You know, uh, so uh, uh, I, I think that uh, 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 when you talk about the political side of it, yeah, there's only one group that ever takes any political heat for this, and that's the county board. You know, everybody else, it's easy for them to say, raise it, raise it. They just go, well, I didn't raise it. The county board did that. That had nothing to do with it, right? So there's maybe a little more sensitivity from reaction from constituents or from the citizens at large in, in, in Will County. That we know also is part of the equation is, you know, what's the public's view on public salaries? Because it goes beyond salaries. I guarantee you there, that, that, that unless you're in government, you do not have the same pension these elected officials get. You know, and you get health care. And by the way, if anyone's taking a hit, it's for the county board because we no longer get part of, we're out of the pension program, period. Uh, so those of you aren't aware of it, we're out. You probably were all notified. So we, we are out because we didn't take any action to put ourselves in, you know. Yeah. So, so, but my, 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 I guess my point is, is that, is that, yeah, is, is there a political component based on what our constituency thinks is appropriate? Yeah. Now let me also say, uh, done this 46 times, and I've voted probably 20 times for paying fees. It never, I never looked at like, well, you know, I may not get elected because the truth is it doesn't have that much of an impact whether you say yes or no, my opinion in elections, you know. So, uh, 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 so I don't think there's that component that you may think just because we're all up for election and we've always done, you know. Here again, I think our salaries are, are, are are appropriate. Somebody can maybe convince me otherwise. Perhaps I think the the one area it's getting tough is this board. You know, you know, we'll talk about you know replacement in District Six. I'm out there talking to a lot of people. They don't want to do this. They say I can't afford to do this. So if anybody's being affected, it's probably this board, joint <coughs> board, because it's you know you have to take away from your full time employment, which sometimes is a. But I still wouldn't vote for an increase for us. You know, somebody will. I, 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 I think sometimes, you know, even at staff members, they think they're giving too generous uh, sometimes pay increases. Because that's the other thing that plays. Well, the staff makes more than they than the elected official. Well, that's not unusual. It's all over the place. You know, because the truth is, is your staff is probably running things. Well, you go out and do anything. You know, so anyway, but. We'll, we'll cross this bridge when we come to it. It'll be somewhere down the road. Uh, maybe, you know, 
three, four, five, six months down the road when we bring it up. And if we take no action, by the way, everything just does the same. I think we did that once too. We just never took it up. Yeah. And so if we don't take it up, it just stays where it's at. You know, so. All right, any more discussion on this? Okay, moving along. Did we actually do a motion not to, uh, we did a motion, maybe I said at the CD. We need a motion to undo it? Well then, Mike, do you want to do a motion to? Yeah, a motion to uh, resend. Resend. resend that. That result, okay. Got a motion, a second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed, motion carried. I'll second. And then uh, cut, uh, inform John Gorman, okay. Okay, is there any other old business? Uh, support for a civil, Silver Oaks Hospital. It's actually, the reason this is on there, uh, we kind of went to the Silver Year Committee. We never heard from them. It's not asking for our support. I suppose we would, we, we support it, but we don't. Didn't anybody kind of get a letter asking for support? Yeah, yeah, we did, and I thought we agreed that it was going to be a collective right. request from the board. All right, we'll do, we'll, we'll do a collective, we'll do a collective letter and send it to uh, uh, the, 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 the review board that, for needs. I got here with the right. second. second motion, second all in favor. Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Uh, Request for, no, for a no bid for an ERP system. Uh, Rita, you want to you tell about what you think this is about? They voted me out front. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can pull a chair up there if you want. No. So we had six responses to our RFP yeah. for an ERP. The ERP, in case you're not familiar, is our finance and HR system. Uh, those six responses, uh, Microsoft was a no bid. I spoke with them about uh, the reason for no bid, and it was their business partner that they selected was not at the pre-bid conference and was therefore not eligible. Uh, SunGuard Vitek uh, also uh, submitted a no bid, uh, and they were actually second place last time we talked, we went through this process. In for Lawson uh, failed to submit a bid bond. The bid bond or failed to get it here on time. Uh, <coughs> Then we had Tyler Muniz. Tyler Muniz uh, had a number of pages of exceptions and uh, really, and I believe that, I don't know if the term was disqualified, but basically they refused to accept, what an example is, they refused to accept our court. meet the conditions of the, of the bid document. No, no. So we had two uh, who, who kind of met it, but frankly that's not uh, very many for a system that we're going to have for a, a long, long time. We need a wider selection. So I took a look, I contacted uh, some of the other counties. It turns out that about a month before ours came back, uh, McHenry counties came back. They had 14 responses. Mm -hmm. So I started comparing them, and the difference was immediately apparent. Uh, we requested on-premise solutions only, uh, primarily as a response time issue. So you know, the system sitting here in the basement, your response time over our network is going to be almost instantaneous. They allowed cloud-based cloud systems to bid. So they had two on-premise systems bid and 12 cloud-based systems. So, um, and was, going. what's that? That's where it's going. There you go. That, that, is where, that is where it appears to be going. Uh, on-premise solutions, obviously, they still have a place and it's still our preference, but if we're gonna look at everything that's out there and we're gonna look at where it's going, we need to include them. So our request is to no award and to reissue the bid. I'll, I'll add cloud-based solutions in there the thing that, the reason that it's not written at this time is because I need to find really good language about response time. One of the things that gets forgotten sometimes when management are doing something like this is you really have to make sure that the people doing the daily work uh, have a very high level of response time. An example would be the real estate system when we replaced it. Uh, the people at the, count, at the cashiers in the treasury office were beating the computer for about a week. We had to make a number of adjustments to make sure that their response times would stay up. Uh, let us reduce those times. We need the same considerations when we do the finance system. We need to make sure that the response times for daily staff handling okay. system. And you might have to go into the weeds here for I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, uh, so you basically you're asking us to re you're, you're asking us to reject this. 
that you use current bids, it sounds like nothing qualified anyway. We're, it sounds like you had a qualified bid. So, no, we all, did. Uh, so we'll, re, we'll, we'll reject it, and you're going to go back out, rewrite the uh, requirements of the bid, uh, and uh, that's what I think you need. Okay, so one the motion avoid. Second. Okay, motion second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? I don't know. Does he need to uh, marry a motion for us to give him to go out to bed? I, no. I don't think they do. Yeah. They have it. traditionally come to you for something, but it's not required. Yeah, I mean, just put it together, get it out there. You know, I had something on a smaller scale. Uh, you know, like Township, for example, this whole cloud business on, on, on site. It's a losing battle keeping it on site almost. Uh, so, uh, okay, so, that's it. Yes. Right, Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, authorizing a contract for the purchase of the building and land located at 62 West Washington Street. Nick, I think we all know what this is about. Uh, we got a motion second. To second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed <laughs> motion. Good job. Nice to see you, Nick. Just remember, every step you take is part of the wellness program. <laughs> uh, 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 next, we have uh, replacement uh, higher pre posting for Division of Transportation. About uh, money shop. Uh, uh, this is for uh, I said maintenance worker, truck driver. Do you know? I got it out here. Shop uh, yeah. Anybody want to? Do we need more maintenance people? Up there? Come on up, Jeff. You, 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 you can try to linger in the back. So we will pull you out. You know. So I wanted to tell us about this job and why you think it's the, uh, at this, this time. This position became vacant. Uh, yes, this one became vacant recently when he moved up to a truck driver. This is our shop worker and only maintains the buildings, uh, small hand tools, um, building maintenance, I think I mentioned. Um, it's just it's a big position because they got promotion right now. Okay. So the only other thing I would, would mention is just because somebody leaves, because there's a vacancy, doesn't necessarily mean there's a need. You know. Uh, and maybe there's not always a need at this particular time. Not necessarily talking about this position. You know, obviously there was a big need going into the winter. I don't know what they've been doing all winter, but you know, obviously that need wasn't as great because of the mild climate. You know, and you know, if there was a truck driver position up now, the need may not be until the fall. You know, I just want to since, since you're not totally new to this, you probably heard. I'll say this to the prior uh, 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 engineer, but uh, I do want to make that point. And I know some of this comes to the executive's office, so I'm making the point <coughs> as opposed to you and to the executive's office. You know, bring us when it's really needed. <coughs> so if, you, if you're if you saying this is really needed at this point in time because it's kind of a shaft position, I'll buy in. The shop worker position would be a separate consideration for what you're referring to. Yeah. Yes. So you would say the shop worker would be a would necessary, necessary position to replace at this time. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay motion. Second that. Okay. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. What was it that Thank was you. Was it No. Jim, do you want to do the uh, no, 
Oh, my we're going to do it for the uh, Oregon. Okay. Okay. And that's it. We just got Julie to present the check. Okay. Okay. And um, so those we like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like one of the check. Okay. Any, so any questions on the proclamations? Uh, I said the motion to approve the proclamations. That's the matter. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. We have, we have the appointments of the county executive. Move. Move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Uh, 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 the uh, 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 you know today we we're supposed to have a special meeting. Because there was, you know, there's kind of a hurry for some of this work to get done. We agreed to do the special meeting, and then they didn't have the documents over yet. Uh, uh, we're going to have to, I, I'm going to place this uh, agreement with BP uh, pipeline uh, on the agenda for the next county board meeting. I assume they'll be ready. If not, we're just going to have to wind up knocking it off. Uh, and you know, <coughs> I don't know if there'll be another special meeting, but hopefully they can get everything worked out. Or you should probably tell them that if they don't have it by we we don't have it by next Thursday, then they're delayed by weeks. Well, I think this isn't this isn't like we're the, the don't get me wrong. We we really appreciate the investment that comes into this county, and certainly we appreciate it a company like Amazon putting such an investment in the county. But you know, this isn't, we're not their employees. They just don't call us at their beck and call. You know, we have structure and they have to understand that, uh, you know, we don't often call special meetings, especially for these types of issues. So, uh, you know, this can't be an on and off again thing. When they have it, and they may have to just wait till the next county board meeting. I think you should kind of maybe express that to them if you can. Okay. I will we'll put a call into the consult for Amazon and tell them they need to get done with those plans so that they can get approved. But um, not only do they have to be approved by Will County, they have to be approved by BP. So I, I have a healthy skepticism that it will be ready by next I understand. Corporate America, <coughs> corporate bureaucracy, they're just like governments. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Uh, so I'll entertain a motion that we place this on this uh, agreement on the next county board agenda. The motion, second. second, all in favor. Aye. 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 Good, good, good ask me. Yeah. So I, I'm asking if uh, to the spot uh, on the agenda for the possible IGA. Uh, for the land swap that was in the papers today in case we can get all of the legal yeah. stuff out of the way in the next week. Okay, so so let, let me say for those of you who may not be totally aware, we have come to a an agreement with the city of Joliet on opening up Chicago Street, what would swap, who's going to do what. Uh, you know, it, it's we didn't get everything we wanted, uh, but they still didn't get everything they wanted either. Uh, so I think it's a good agreement. Uh, it's going to need a, 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 a approval, and I did want to try to get it approved this month. Let's get it out of the way. So, Mike, if you want to make a motion to put that intergovernmental agreement on the agenda, yeah, I make a motion to put the uh, IGA for land swap on the agenda. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Okay, so that will be. Uh, I agree. City of Joliet, I believe, is going to try to get their council uh, approval at the at the end of this month. They'll be after us. Uh, but I, uh, we have an agreement. Let's get it approved before anybody else say, watch this for some other thing. <laughs> so so uh, uh, we'll, we'll move on this. And you can also mention the city that we're going to approve it on. Uh, well, I assume we're going to approve it. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> Next we already have a draft, so we have the agreement, and, the, we had, and we did ask them to draft the agreement so there would be no uh, miscommunication of, oh, that's not what we said, Mary, you know, said, I think it over, 
it's not a real complex agreement. It's pretty straightforward. I, I, I'm sure you'll have no problem getting through it by next week. Yeah. So, uh, so okay. So we'll move forward with that. Aye. Yes. Vote. Uh, you made the motion. Oh yeah. All in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> you want to vote too? You want to vote, Tom? Tom How sorry. many times do you want to vote? Tom? Uh, you know, the, the, other, the other thing I'd like to mention is uh, uh, we all Reagan said for the position. Uh, uh, we have to declare a vacancy. We'll put that on this county board meeting. But I also want you to know, because of the way the dates fall, uh, we're like five days short from our second meeting. You know, generally we declare the vacancy. You have 60 days, and we do, usually we're sometimes it's the sometimes it's the very same county board meeting, but. Uh, at this point, uh, we're, there's no name coming forward at this meeting. Uh, I'm not even worried. There's a process going on. So I'm just warning folks now, there may be a need for a special meeting uh, uh, in May because we're going to fall five days short. Uh, so I don't know if we'll be done by April. April. Well, we, if we haven't done in April, that's fine. It's May. No, it'll be May. So it'll be May. If we don't have done in April, then we have to go to May. I'm just saying, 60 days, which is a state statute, doesn't get us to the May meeting. We'd be five days short of the May meeting. We do a special meeting on this thing between the two, right? Because that would start to seven days before. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of putting out there, just so you know. So if, uh, I saw someone make a motion to put the vacancy on the agenda. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Is there anything else before we get to the committee reports? Okay. Uh, Todd? Uh, we have uh, four zoning cases and uh, three re resolutions. Uh, we meet next Tuesday, so uh, I don't think there'd be a problem with any of them that are listed. Okay. We need to uh, all right, make a motion to save the spot. Okay, motion. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Anything else, Tom? No. Any questions for Tom? Finance? Finance. Uh, we are uh, we have a resolution that we're going to be moving some money out of capital over to PVC to pay some bills. We're going to be increasing appropriation in the sheriff's budget. We are authorizing our contribution to United Way. Uh, we're transferring and increasing appropriations for our year end cleanups and shortfalls. And we're authorizing the county executive to execute the necessary tech documents for the tech. Wow. I, I do have one question since it came up this morning. You know, we need to move money to the special prosecution fund. Uh, uh, right. Are we going to do that this month? Do we need to put it on the agenda? Jim, we don't, we don't need to do that. We can just pay it from both line items. Oh, you can? Yes, we can. Okay. So, so we don't have to move any money. No. Okay, very okay. good. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Okay, any questions for Mike? Okay. Uh, Public Works? Uh, we have the uh, 2040 plan for the board's consideration. We also have uh, annual funding for guardrail maintenance and uh, the intersection at Spencer Road and Laraway Road. It's going to be redone. It's interesting. Uh, four bidders, very close bids. Very exciting. Those are coming in district. <coughs> and then we're uh, some land acquisition title commitments at Francis and Parker Road. That's all we've got this month. Hey, Jeff, come on back up for a second. Man. The uh -oh. 2040 plan. Uh, uh, I know you did it at Public Works. Uh, are we going to do a little uh, presentation at the county board? Please we get our highlights of this. Let me say this just briefly, and I'll let Jeff address the board and our committee. Um, we did have the consultants there. Mr. Myers was at the committee meeting. So uh, my expectation is that he will be there to answer any questions that the board has. And he made a he made a uh, presentation, but I would call it a, a brief presentation. It was not a comprehensive, well, you know, yeah, presentation. Not in the week. 
But I do no, know, sir, it was, it was, but it was a brief presentation. But I do think an uh, overview of the 20, I didn't say an overview of the 2040 uh, is, I think, Jeff, we should give that kind of overview of how long did his presentation take? 10 minutes about yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll all, if, if you can get him here, either you or uh, he's going to have to do the present, do a 10 minute presentation. There's no PowerPoint or anything, he just kind of verbally. That, that's fine. Yeah, you know, that's fine. We, we don't need PowerPoint. I can't even see him anyway. <laughs> yeah. you know, so, uh, uh, so, uh, make that arrangement. So why don't we, we figure we'll do a brief presentation. It's an important document, and I think the full, full board should have some understanding uh, with the 2040 plan. Is. And if you want to <coughs> uh, maybe uh, highlight some things that you think that you know would be a priority, that, that would be your goals for us completing, say within the five-year plan or 10-year plan, I think that's some, also could be helpful uh, for folks. Okay. Very good. All right. Then. Okay. I'm going to wait till you get back to that point. She's kind of steps. Two times. Yeah, actually, I'm looking at you. Don't look like you need steps. So we're going to give it to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, anything, uh, any other questions for uh, Mr. Gould? Additional, Darren? Nothing to report this month, Jim. Okay. Any questions for uh, Darren? Uh, public health and safety. Uh, we just have one item for award bidding, uh, award bid for uh, replacement of some laundry equipment at Sunny Hill. Uh, okay, so any questions for uh, uh, legislative policy, Suzanne? Um, yes, we're going to have both our federal and our local call in on Tuesday. Um, there's a lot of updates, there's a lot of things going on. Um, as we know, Everyone saw with the groundwater monitoring, we're, we're getting leverage. We're getting some this. footage finally. Yeah, we're getting some great footage. I'm getting wonderful responses. I'm, a lot of people, all hands on deck from all over the state. And yeah, everyone's jumping in to help. And they monitored, oh, they changed a little of the uh, of the bill, but it's going in the direction that we needed to. And I really feel positive about us being able to get this through, which will make history beyond. Assistance pays, not backing off sometimes pays. Yeah, these guys are like self-help. Right yeah. yeah. okay. Any questions? Any questions for Susan? Yeah. Suzanne, yes. when, when you were uh, um, at NACO in Washington, were you able to talk with our federal lobbyist, Jim, or Brett? I don't know why I'm not working. Oh, too many of them all. Too shut off. Yeah, people shut off. Okay, there we go. Okay. Uh, were you able to talk with Brett or Jim about any of those bills that uh, we're so deeply have a passion for here in Will County? While you're out there? Oh, yeah. No, and I talked to, I don't know if you know this, but we do talk um, either via text mm -hmm. or email or conversation. When we got back, because there, there's been a few bills. There's actually, we are just talking about this with the MPO and transportation. I was just asking Nick um, if he got the email. So, yeah, no, I was able to have a great links that we were talking. Um, Texts are good, but I'm talking about the face-to-face. -face. No, we did get the face-to-face. -face. Oh, we what? did get to have conversation. Yeah. Um, we also, as you know, that we passed the resolution for the air traffic control tower over there in uh, transportation that okay. Dom yeah. Moran sits in and uh, Jim Eustace. So that okay. was that was good. great. Good. Was, good. Let me say, you know, this, this, this trip with, uh, to Washington wasn't really the visit. Right. Our consultants. We right. did visit with them. We, we talked right. about some issues, uh, but it was primarily, of course, it's legislative. Right. Uh, well, uh, we and, went and to NACO and, You know, Together. quite a few of us went. A lot of people went to committees. Uh, I think it was, uh, especially in transportation. I think there was discussion was very pertinent to you know, some of our goals. We had some good discussions. A lot of our well, our large and caucus was fabulous. I thought, I thought actually we were the, the we were best. They say we were the best part. We were absolutely the best. Yeah. Uh, well, so I know she's an opportunity. Yeah. So I thought you would take the opportunity yeah. while you were out there. Well, yeah. so we did. The first day with and, and, and by the way, uh, 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 Jim, 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 okay. Smith, Jim Smith and Brett Garson uh, did go out to Suzanne along with uh, Don and, and uh, Ray. Ray went out to Saab. They're the ones who are doing the, the demonstration of pilot project on remote air traffic control. Uh, and they were pretty impressed with it all. And, and Jim Smith and Brett uh, Garrison 
also went there because it's something that you know they're helping get out. It's what they have an interest in. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know if anybody wants to. You know, I, I suppose we can put something together and just give some brief reports. If you want. And uh, I do have the resolution that is with us, and there was two things down here. No, he does speak. He speaks very fluent in this. Well, and Ray as well. But I, 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 you know, uh, Suzanne, maybe at the next uh, uh, legislative committee we can put this on the agenda. We can discuss maybe what went on. Uh, even those who may not be part of the committee, we should probably invite if they went If they went to the conference, we should send well, an invitation for them to join us. And then maybe at some point, maybe the we'll Next month, also, then you can just put a uh, you know, synopsis together. Okay. Of, oh, no. That would be uh, yeah, that would be wonderful. I like share. <laughs> and I was kidding that you know, yeah, I, I, I've been on this luck committee, larger accounting caucus committee, for like 18 years. I think it's over 20. Uh, uh, but Denise is much more active in the committee than I. I, I she's I, vice I, president. But, one of you know, she's one of the vice chairs. And I, and I kiddingly said, I, I do think we had the best speakers. Not that I was able to make every single one, but I think we had speakers that were very pertinent to what we, uh, uh, what's going on in the larger, so larger county. So, uh, the analysts and the political. So, so maybe we'll put something together. You know? Yeah, that was, and I know Darren, you've also, you went to some really interesting as well for judicial and committees yeah. and offices. Yeah, and so your next legislative committee, if we invite everybody to come and put input in, uh, and to. then we'll put something together. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Denise, yeah. Uh, you're not a legislator, right? No, but no. you could be no, there. No, Denise normally comes. Yeah. 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 I'm a legislator, and I was, we're going to put something together. Um, the folks that went from um, like Tyler and Denise and Beth and Lori, Put a few. Put a few. No, put a few. No, no, no. We're going to put okay, a few slides I was, together. And then, I was, I was just wondering. No, I, and then I wanted to ask where you would like. No, that everything, to, everything kind know. of would. I would like to see everything go through the committee. Oh, yeah, like what, and, you which know, committee uh, you uh, want that to be presented at? Okay. We're going to put something together at legislative. And, uh, you know, then we'll have something to give to the entire board. Yeah, that's, that was the uh, idea. So. Uh, and go to your own slide, sure. I'm not a part of that. No, I'm not it, it, you know, I want <laughs> right. to reach out to our folks right. and... and uh, it certainly sounded like it was only one side. You had to do your own thing. Let me tell you how it sounded <laughs> to me. But hey, you know what? You know, uh, that's what we're going to do. Yeah. 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 Ye
um, report on this, yes. uh, that would be great. So, I mean, because I have some uh, ideas as well and others that have gone. It's not a combined report. I mean, there's a report. Right. There's a report. Right, but we could just do it. Like, and I'm saying that. There is not. Republic, I'm 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 tell you right now, you're not going to do this by caucus. No, Jim. <laughs> I'm saying what people I'll tell you to. right now because that's not how we're going down no, the road. No, no, no. I'm saying that's by never how we've gone down the road. Like, I didn't go to his so traditional one. You'll be doing your slideshow in somebody's garage. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so, no, I meant uh, like what different committees people have gone to. Uh, I'm just telling you that you know, you, you know, I don't want to hear there's going to be partisan and I went to uh, reports. Right. It's not going to happen. Cause I'm just saying that's different. So we can find out maybe. There's something you can never win. Just so you know. Why you're well, <laughs> talking because, to me like that. Because, <laughs> because, because you made it clear to me you had your, your caucus with you had some kind of separate oh, report. Okay. That's, that's well, not that's all, all what I said at all. No, that's not all what I said. All right. So what okay. I understand is that right. uh, right. you and Suzanne so working to together yeah. and yeah. each person yes. who was there yes. is going to I mean, yes. reach out to the entire board if that's so the case, we can all benefit from the is that yeah. Yeah. Because I know I talked to Tyler. He went into right. great lengths and went on to that home with the homeless when he talked about that, which so I didn't So you'll get together. Okay. Yeah. So we got your next meeting. All right. I will go. Anything and I will, else for Suzanne? I'm moving on now. So, you yeah, know, like, This is the longest we've ever talked about my okay. committee. I just want to put that on. No more talk. <laughs> yes, I have one. Yes. We have one resolution, and actually, I'm going to have to ask the executive committee to make an amendment. Uh, Mike Frizzolo and I met with APAC and Nick Palmer, and we had discussed this uh, last week. And the money was actually supposed to come out of the public safety well, complex. Why tell me you're talking about? There's a resolution yes. okay, for the wetlands. Yeah. For the wetlands banking site credits at the okay. wetlands mitigation. So we're actually purchasing with wetlands out of the bank because we're going to have to use something we're using uh, our turn lane up at the sheriff's sure, sure. facility. So with that being said, the original resolution, there was an error where it says it's coming out of the capital <coughs> funds. We don't want it coming out of capital funds, nor the cap corporate contingency funds, so we want to make sure that it states accurately the public safety complex uh, construction contingency funds, just to make sure that it's not coming out of our corporate or we're not adding any money to the Okay, so which leads me to ask you something, Mary. Does this have to go forward as a change order to the, or can we just say it's, it comes from there? It would be something that wouldn't have, wouldn't have necessarily been or can it be strictly taken on the contingency of the... I don't think it's part of the contract with any of our consultants. I think this is part of our highway acquisition and construction. I'll have to double check. But that's but part I of our prize and chapter. It's, it's, it's part of our facility. sheriff's facility. I, yeah, and I'll, I'll look to make sure. But I, I my, my inclination is to say no, but I will make sure that the resolution is... So we can just say the money is part of the yes. project. Is what we want. Yes. Okay. All right, and you'll just let us know whether it needs to go forward as a change order or if it's just goes straight forward as a, uh, just, just identifying that's where the funding comes from. Correct. Okay. So do we need a motion then to make Yes. I made that motion. Second. A motion, second. All, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, anything else? Any questions for Ray? Okay, any, any, <coughs> any questions for me on the executive committee? Okay, is there any public comments today? Public comments? Uh, I have no report, I have no announcements. Mary, is there any need for executive session? No need for executive session. Are you going to go to the executive session the county board? That's my understanding. Yes, okay. Who has done it today except now? Okay, so, uh, okay. No need. Uh, I'll entertain a motion to approve the. Uh, uh, county board agenda as amended. Uh, second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, uh, next meeting will be on April 6th. And uh, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Move. Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion.